We are back. Tech issues. So yeah, I, I just forgot that now you can turn off all the audio and make it disappear. I forgot that that was a thing. Should... Can you hear that? Can you hear footsteps? It sh you should be hearing footsteps. I can see now the, the sound moving around. But yes, welcome to some Outer Wilds. Oh wow. And we're gonna explore the quantum moon. Hey, I'm sorry about BB. But it seems like everyone was in the wrong in that situation. BB was doing bad stuff. Doggo doing bad stuff. Everyone did bad stuff. Okay, so there's an unknown sixth location that the moon goes to. What's this? The white hole. They keep saying there's more to explore here. I want to fill out this part of the map. Oh yeah, we were going to find the other quantum shards. We're going to do all the quantum signals that I am still not aware of. So, yeah. But yeah, Dog said, I gave you many warnings, kid, but both were wrongs. It's okay. Yeah. Well, it's a learning experience. The truth is to, like, in the end, BB's going to learn a few unpleasant things throughout his life. So... It's, bad. it's sad that it had to be that way, but I'm sure that he has learned a lesson now. <laughs> and here's uh, hoping it doesn't repeat repeat itself. Oh, oh yeah, I need to... Um... Quantum fluctuation. Quantum moon. Okay. Unknown. Unknown. Okay, we're going right there. I'm just going straight. There's so many. Whatever that is. Oh, I bet that's on the twin. Yep, part of growing up. Part of growing up. We don't stay clear of those. Forever. And I mean, it's good. It's good in the sense that... That we learn. Otherwise, how many stupid things would we keep doing if we didn't learn things, you know? Um, the autopilot doesn't see... Okay, it's on that twin, not that twin. Okay. But how's everyone else? How is everyone else doing? Not bad, have to restart my th- Oh, why? What happened? Okay. Here we go. Still just as good at landing. Mm-hmm. No one can beat me at being good at landing. Yeah, no, that's- that's- that's a rough one. I'm sorry you're having to- to go through that, because, ooh. As someone who had to work on my thesis not too long ago, it's, uh... <laughs> it's quite the undertaking. Here's the thing I'm looking for. No.
This is kind of creepy. Whatever it is, it's right there. Like 15 meters away from me. Everyone already said everything interesting. <laughs> oh. I'm sure, I'm sure there's more. I'm sure you'd be able to find more. I know you, Matthew, and I know that you have quite a few interesting things to say. Clearly, I, I probably have to go underground here. Wait a minute, this is not my ship. Are we right next to the little canyon? Yeah, I am. Okay, so whatever it is, it's in this rock. Meaning, I have to find an entrance to this rock. Bingo. Yeah, no, but that, that's one of the hard things, but especially with um, a major like that. It's difficult. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's difficult to find something that hasn't been said before, or prove something that hasn't been studied before. It's like, oh, yeah, sure, I'm gonna... I'm gonna find out what in the world new linguistics is. What if you create... Oh. By the way, this is a very unrealistic... <laughs> what if you create a new language? What if you... What if you... Okay, check this out. Ow. This is my idea. This is my idea. Oh, it's gone. Oh, yeah, it moves. Um, create a Rosetta Stone for every language. Something that can be universal. I don't think that's ever done before. But that sounds really hard. <laughs> and possibly decades of research. Malore. Coleus is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave. Like Esperanto 2.0? I don't know what that is. You see, you're, you're saying these things to me, and I'm like, Esperanto. <laughs> I like that car. <laughs> and I'm like, yep. Sipping that wine. Mmm, it's very full-bodied. Oh. So, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> okay. He vanished from the lake bed cave. The one at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. Several days ago. And we're unable to find any trace of him. I don't know how much air he had when he disappeared. I beg any friend reading this, help us recover. Why are you writing this in a hidden away cave? All right, next thing. Malori, this rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Oh no, she talks to rocks, man. Uh, oh, it was an attempt at a universal language. Interesting, how long ago was that? My sedimentary friend, because your unique color and texture appears identical to a rock I met earlier. Wasn't this the same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed? At the North Pole? We plan to re-examine the northern lake bed cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. An update, Melora and I... Oh, this is Coleus. Went back to the lake bed cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it isn't. That means this rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. Oh. You're back. <laughs> Oop. And you're gone. What if I'm inside? Can I close my eyes? Okay. 18, eight, it's about time. It's about time someone tried it again. That's my eight cents. 1880s, whatever. People, people gotta be trying it again. <laughs> yeah, I might be going too fast. Let's go 
around here. Interesting that 2.0, like, at least I would think that whenever, you know, calling 2.0 and stuff like that came with the advent of tech, like, more modern technology where they iterate more often. Because, like, people would just call it 2 or stuff like that. It's, I find it that I didn't have many... Okay, so South Pole. Did she say North Pole or South Pole? There aren't many instances of when, uh, just from reading history or whatnot. Uh, where they use like the term 2.0, cause like that indicates that there's a 2.1 and like there's sub, but I might be completely wrong. I just might have not seen many things. Uh, North Pole, okay. I still have no idea if the North Pole is red or blue. I think it's red. I think north is always red. So it is over there. Okay. Wait, is this the nor North Pole? Hey, friend. I don't want to land on you. Guys. Two things. I just realized there's a map of the planet to the left of the screen. And there's a height measure on the right side of the screen underneath my picture. And I've never seen either of them. That's why I was exiting the ship. No, yeah, I get you what you mean applies to often to technology. Interesting. So, like, they did call it 2.0? Oh, it's too full already. I'm late. Okay, so there's more stuff for me to discover here. But I need to be here earlier. I see. So it's not that they had a 2.0. You're telling me that you would be the 2.0. Oh, oh. This leads somewhere. Kids, this is what I discovered. If you ever see perfectly cut stairs in stone, someone's been there. Facts. <laughs> Facts. If you don't see- where does this lead me? This is leading me in circles! This is the worst, kids. If you see stairs cut into stone, don't always follow it. It literally might lead you in a circle. What is the point of this? This is the entrance I entered. So, oh, by the way, I got a really nice smelling. Got it. We're supposed to use this, the gravity cannon. To throw the ship into the moon. That's my guess. Mm. I need to find the lake bed cave. And we're gonna explore this signal. Timber hearth. Okay. But yes, as I was saying, I I got a nice smelly thing. Or my room. Oh no, wait, I didn't enter this one. Would this be the lake bed cave? Look at that, I barely even have to look down. Or 
Are you the lake bed cave? Some of these are kind of spooky. <laughs> these caves are kind of spooky. Nay. Uh oh. Also, quantum rocks are kind of spooky, because you turn around and then they're so suddenly there. Melora, friends, if you find any sign of Coleus, I implore you to tell me. He vanished without a trace during the research trip. He's been missing ever since. Burr, Melora, some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search Coleus. Can you tell us more about your expedition? You have my gratitude, Burr. Coleus and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about a unique wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Where was the young Coleus lost, Melora? He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. It happened in an instant, without warning. I turned away from Coleus to examine the sample, and when I turned back he simply wasn't there anymore. He had a limited supply of air. Anona, I'm afraid for him. Hypothesis? We will learn more by examining the northern cave lake bed, where Coleus disappeared. Search quickly, everyone. No time to squander. Rock, come back. Rock, come back. Aha. What if I... I'm on you, and I look away. I'm still on you. Okay, so physical contact seems to... Oh, this, take, this is taking me to the South Pole. Or maybe this is the North Pole. But because um, I don't know how to read North and South... Oh no, this is the crash site. Okay. Have I been to this crash site? I don't remember being to this crash site. I know, right? As like just a skelly boy looking around. We need We need status reports for all systems. But initial thing first, is everyone unharmed? Our escape pod passengers are afraid, but physically well, Anona. Everyone survived the crash. Copy. Oh, that's a relief, at least. You have my gratitude. Burr, were you able to find other escape pods to search Rex Vaxtapa? I can hear both signals somewhere in the star system, but I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same planet as us. Right. Yeah. Sometimes, this game is interesting because, like, I don't think it's scary at any point. But ga you can games can create, or anything really, can create a spooky situation where anything just showing up there kind of just spooks you. Uh, has been mortally injured. Okay. Inhospitable. Whoa! Oh, oh. Yes. I remember this. Okay. Heat from the star system sun is more bearable below the surface. And our escape bog punctured the planet's surface. It broke into what it scans now cave system. Even with this danger, there are also our best chance of survival. Okay. Ooh, the sand is pretty high. Moving. I think this is the fish, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Close. In the world? Oh, the sand- uh-oh, the sand is rising. That's not good for me. <laughs> ah. 
That is... That is a horrible way to die. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb... But imagine being caught in a room where sand is rising. Uh-uh. <laughs> Not the fate for me. That would be... Uh-uh. Just uh-uh. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Oh, that's my scout. My ship is over here. Ah! Do you guys have any theories as to where we should go next? My, right now, my instinct is just... Find this one on Timber Hearth, wait for the next cycle for us to go into that one. Because clearly I don't have enough information to get to finish the game. I'm, I've gotten to what I think the end game is, but I, the tools I need to be able to really be there I don't have. As long as this autopilot doesn't take me through the sun, I'll be fine. Not sure? Yeah. It's a complicated, it's a complicated, uh, puzzle. That, when you guys told me that it was gonna take a while, I didn't disregard it, but I was like, I can probably figure it out. <laughs> suit here but a 400 and 403 there are two here yeah there was another game, by the way, that I, I kind of want to play. And honestly, if I'm being completely honest, I've been playing on my own time. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't know how it would go over in the... Okay. How it would go over on stream. I mean, possibly it could go really well, but... Especially since it's one of my favorite genres of games. But it's the game, um... Oh, there it is. Rope shop. Oh. Water here looks weird. Always dark across old bark, quiet shade in the ancient glade. Quiet. The quiet shade, it's always dark across the bark in the ancient glade. Who be doing these puzzles all over the place? Ah, why, why does everyone have to make cryptic signs everywhere? Why don't they just make something that makes sense? Why is there a hole here? What's the deal with this hole? Oh. Okay. 
Alright, I got a signal for for Grove Shard. And I know you're there. I want to know what the other thing is. Okay. Actually, I'm going to explore this a little bit. Where did this go? Read, read, read! Church research notes, property of church. Okay, whatever. I detect a strange signal coming from somewhere within the grove in this crater. Very similar to the signal emitted by the quantum moon, so it stands to read the signal is probably related. We don't know much about the quantum moon, seeing there's no no one's ever been able to land on it, but hopefully studying the signal of the grove will reveal more about it. Okay. Oh, you know what? I wonder if, because of all the quantum pieces, the moon moves in a specific way in a pattern because of where the pieces are scattered to. That was if I touch you. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. This one's gonna blow. Music started playing. Or maybe it was me fondling that piece of rock. Maybe that was progress. Nope. <laughs> I literally tried every single side except the right one. We gotta run. Oh, that sun's about to explode. Well, we get to watch it. Again. It's always pretty. Watching a whole universe die. <laughs> Is that something you have to say, um, Erica, to people at Disney? <laughs> Please do not fondle the rocks. <laughs> You're just like, yes, Mickey rocks. I bet people might even be trying to steal rocks there at Disney. Oh, oh, here we go. Abort autopilot. <laughs> I'm sure they have. That is beautiful. I'm freezing. <laughs> oh, they have. <laughs> has any crazed fan, this is a new question, has any crazed Disney fan ever ran into the kitchen where you work and like, I need to lick the ladle, the Mickey's ladle, or something like that? From the from the restaurant, <laughs> they they go in and steal the candies from the restaurant. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> People, okay. By the way, before we, <sighs> I need to go. Amber, I love the feeling of flying in space. I wish I wish there were more things. Go, go, go. That made you feel like you were flying in space. You know, like that feeling the G's, as the gangsters say. No, the sugar holders. Oh. Oh. People be crazy. Ooh, ooh, smooth.
All right. Here we go. North Pole. We're going to the bottom. Perfect. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We need to explore this as quickly as possible because I have a feeling that this is the first place to flood. Okay, dead end. And clearly they have a bunch of dead ends so that you, oh, sand started. We'll get lost and not know where to go. is clearly no. Okay. Like, this feels like a place I'll find something spooky. Did the guy just get lost in this cave? That'd be so sad. Okay. Actual platforming. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sam. She's not very good at platforming. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, they're actually making me platform. That's crazy. Okay, okay. Is there anything behind this? Nope. Okay. Okay. Ah! <gasps> Quantum cactus! Quantum cactus! It's here to kill me, the quantum cactus. Am I trapped by the cactus? I am quantum cactus. The quactus. Yo, this quactus is whack. I don't, oh. I'm lost. I'm officially lost. Quactus. <gasps> it's not just the cactus that changes, it's also the rocks. This is a death puzzle. Okay. Okay. Quantum stuff can totally be spooky too, by the way. Oh. <gasps> did I find where he... Yes. I did. Dead people. If you come here to look for Coleus, this is where we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. What happened before Coleus disappeared? We were examining different rocks. I recall Coleus standing on the largest one, on the largest one, the wandering rock. I was taking notes and then my lantern died. I knew it. You have to stand on it. When I lit it again, Coleus and the rock were both gone. Your strange wandering rock friend is here, though Coleus isn't. Coleus and I observed this unusual looking rock and several smaller rocks in at least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant. And we have a switch. What does this do? Oh, it turns off the lights. Okay, okay. You guys ready? Here we go. We're in a different place. We're in a different place! How coolious! How curious! This rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the ca rock carried me here. This seems the clearest, clearest <laughs> explanation. Hypothesis. If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. 
I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Melora is here now too. We theorize that a conscious being is in contact with a quantum quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, explaining the need for darkness. The being can become entangled with the quantum object and they move together. Friends, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule. He has also promised me he'll never vanish again. And if he does, learn something useful. F and if he does, and if he does, learn something Okay, that, I don't think that that's probably... Curious, but all al also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. Of course, it's a quantum rock, you idiot. <laughs> The wandering rock return exactly. Never before have I been so delighted to see sedimentary specimen. Okay. Okay. You bunch of nerds. Don't even know how quantum works. Look, I know. Bloop, looked away. Oh, it's back. Bloop. Haha. <laughs> to ride the moon with my lights off. Ow. I am going to ride the moon with my lights out. Uh-oh. The ship is always almost being taken over by sand. Let's go. That was smooth launch. Um, am I stuck? There we go. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Check this out. Need to find the quantum moon. Nope. Quantum moon. Take me home. To the moon. I belong. Quantum moon. Uh, oh, 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 there it is. I've been considering, I, I've been putting some serious thought into this into changing the name of the channel or like changing more things to be more moon related because of all the moon connections that we have or at least that I have, I guess. No, I can't stop looking at the quantum moon. Can't stop looking at the quantum moon. No, don't hide behind a planet, quantum moon. Don't hide behind a What in the world? <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, I'll just engage autopilot. Let's see here. <laughs> Why do the hard work if you can have robots do it for you? Said man in 2070. 2071. Robots take over. Where are you taking me? Oh, it's we're still flying away because that's how fast we were going. Does it look like... The comet is gonna hit the white hole. Wait a minute. Is the comet about to hit the white hole? <gasps> what? What the world? Um, what? What's going on? Okay. Oh, oh, Erica. Thank you. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, flashlight is off. I think I know. I have to be facing away from the sun. Because there can't be any light. There can't be any light. It needs to be complete darkness. Erica, has it been a month already? Have I been streaming for a month now? Thank you for the sub. There can be no light. There can... Unknown. Wait, what did he say? I need to go back. Oh, and you could make a bunch of moon things spend channel... Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking like moon is much easier to 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 the to make more thematic things than rods, just rods. It's like, you know, hey, here's some pretzel rods you can have. Hey, pretzel rods. Hey, you know, no one no one wants a pretzel rods. So, But who doesn't want some moon stuff? Moon is cool. I was thinking. What is this autopilot doing? This is the trashiest autopilot I've ever had. <laughs> I love how, like, I clearly can't do it myself, but I'll also immediately just trash my autopilot. I feel like that planet's about to hit me. Oh boy. <sighs> oh, I'm still alive. Uh oh. Uh oh, wait. Um... Guys, how do I fix this? <laughs> um... Where's the rest of my ship? <laughs> Where's the rest of my ship? I would like to know, please. Um... Um... Uh, uh, this is quite the pickle. <laughs> um... What, what... What am I supposed to do in a situation like this? <laughs> huh. Well, I don't think the meme has ever a have more application. Guess I'll die. Guess I'll die. Also, the camera's way too low. Yeah, the camera's way too low. Hmm. Guess I'll die. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Um, clearly, clearly, <laughs> my autopilot is trash. <laughs> now I, I can feel confident saying that. I've only killed us from a crash once, and at least I had the decency to kill me, you know? So I wouldn't have to wander these halls for the until the end of my life. 
autopilot left me alive. Not only that, now I gotta... I, I'm left searching. Oh boy. See, this is almost full too. I know what I'll do. Take me to the sun. Okay, this is my chance to go to the sun. Because I'm Slim Shady, I'm the real Shady. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I was think I was looking at multiple. Okay, that's a complete lie. I was thinking of multiple different variations on the moon theme. I think it could be really cool, especially because the channel has so many you know things to do with the moon, and I do too. Like. Pretty much every single game, I don't know, I've mentioned this before, but pretty much every single game in my favorites list has something to do with the moon. You know, other than the moon just being in the sky. There's like something moon related. So. Like, I think, I think of that as a very fitting, oh wait, Timber Earth. That's where we are. You've seen... You've seen me play a lot of space, space type games, that is true. And, here's the big and. 77, it's right here. What? Screw you, museum. The strange rock moving around in the grotto appears to react conscious to conscious observation. You get what I mean. The level-headed among us realize there it must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabbro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Yep. Whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of the debate agree the effective Effect is extremely creepy. It is kind of creepy. Where is it? So here it wouldn't work because there's light. Oh. Oh. I don't think I can possibly land on this. It's too small. Well, we solved the mystery. What we were looking for was in front of us all along. Oh, is this the living version of it? Oh, it is. Spooky action at a distance. But... <laughs> the bane of Newton's physics. Yeah, he went to... He's probably rolling in, this gr in his grave when the universe was like... Now quantum, because clearly the universe decided to create quantum physics as a reaction to the stuff that Newton found. It was out of spite for Newton. Like, oh yeah, you gonna make rules? Check these out. <laughs> and Newton was like, ah, if it wasn't for those dang kids. Oh, wow, they have some good speakers in this village. The moment I enter the village, the music starts. Oh, well, that's a pick- oh. Not so much of <laughs> Dang it, Gen Z universe! <laughs> We're actually gonna cancel Earth. <gasps> Earth just stops existing. Collapses on itself. Here comes the sun. Ba -da -da -da. <laughs> have I discovered? Okay, so clearly I need to have my headlights off when I'm going into the quantum moon. I need to find a way for the moon to be completely dark when I'm going into it so that- <gasps> There it is! There it is! <laughs> Speak of the quantum moon. It's right there. Alright, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna try my theory. So, lights off. Facing the sun. Okay. 
No lights. No lights. Okay. Okay, that's a normal one. Okay, so that doesn't work. Did I learn everything I needed about the moon? Okay, so clearly there isn't... Okay. So you see, you see, we, we have a, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. I learned this one's lesson. There is a strange rock shard in the grove that f moves when I'm not watching. It emits a signal on the quantum foot. Okay. And a poem written on one of the trees in the grove. <laughs> it's too bad you can't play music anymore on on Twitch, you know, licensed music, because I have I have pretty much a soundtrack for every moment. I could literally play a song every moment. But because, you know, of it being illegal, I, A, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not here to break, break a bunch of rules. B, I understand why the rules are in place, but it's kind of annoying, because it's, like, especially if you're not just listening to them, if you're making use of them to kind of create your own thing. I think there's, there's room there to argue that you are being... This is the one, right? Yeah. Oh. That you are using it for creative means. This isn't the same place. Ow. Driving looking down really hard. Every shard has something to teach me. This one has not taught me its lesson yet. Okay. Okay. That kind of startled me. I'll, I'll be completely honest. My sh... Quantum physics. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Alright. What do you want to teach me? Uh... That kind of, I love that that kind of spooked me. No, that kind of got me. Okay, so I'm gonna try going in here. Wait for it to stop. There we go. Go, go, go. You know what? 
I think I've been here. It's a fun ride. Yeah, I've totally been here. Oh, by the way, this is us. This is the one they discovered us. Yeah. What do you mean? Did you just swear? Is, is my thing doing that for swears? Does it just block it out? Or did it just type three stars? Which honestly also a possibility. But I need to figure this out, because if it's, you know... Oh, okay. You just did a, a cool, cool dot dot dot. Oh, 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 here we go. Let's keep going. <laughs> Adventure waits for no one. Oh, here we go. Alright, so... Still don't think we've learned our lesson. I saw it different. In the ancient glade, it's always dark. The quiet shade across the bark. So it's ancient glade, always dark. Quiet shade ac across old bark. In the ancient glade, the quiet shade. It's always dark across old bark. Could I be led to believe? Oh, there's another sign. Or is that the same sign? Wait a minute. Is that a quantum sign? <gasps> it's a quantum sign. Ancient glade, across old bark, quiet shade, it's always dark. You be messing with me. It's not just the rock, it's the poem. There aren't multiple of them. What in the world? In the ancient glade across old bark, it's always dark, a quiet shade. So the pieces of wood stay the same, they're always... No, they're not. But they change. It's a link to a clip. Oh! Oh yeah, I think, I think Michael blocked all links. Which is too bad, because I, I do want people to share stuff. Okay, let's start using our... My guess is that I have to position the sign and I have to position the sign. In the ancient glade, it's always dark. Quiet shade across old bark. 
What in the world is old bark? <laughs> is that old bark? It's the thickest one. It's the thickest boy. I didn't go in this hole. Or did I? I did. This is the exact same hole. But it is dark down here. Wait, did the hole just move locations? Or am I get going crazy? Did that hole just move? Oh, well, there's only one way to find out. behind old bark you gotta be kidding it moves too it moves too what what triggers it to move okay so we we have three points uh uh we have three points. It's gone. It's gone from there. It's behind old bark now. We're getting close. I think I need to line the three of them up. I need to line the three of them up. The trees are moving too. <laughs> Everything is moving. Even these pebbles in the middle of the stream. Everything is moving. How am I supposed to figure this out? <laughs> it's almost all lined up. The big tree. Okay. Across old bark. Okay. In the ancient glade, it's always dark. Across old bark. In the shade. The quiet shade. So if we're going with a rhyme scheme... In the ancient glade, it's always dark. The quiet shade across the bark. Across old bark. My guess, again, old bark is the thickest tree. So the quiet shade across old bark. But if old bark is always moving... So here's my theory. I need to stop these. Across old bark, the quiet shade in the ancient glade in the ancient glade is it's always dark. And it's gone. It's in the middle. Okay, okay. This is unique. This is unique. Okay, I think this will trap it right there. See my light freaking out? That's spooky. Look at it moving! Look at it moving! 
It exists in multiple locations at once. Look at that. You know what? I'm what is this? <laughs> eh. I'll be honest. That's kind of spooky tree. Don't do that. They like giving me a right on spook. I'll be honest, I have no idea how to solve this. My my theory, my game theory. Is that I have to manipulate one of them at a time. That's probably why my ship freak out, freaked out. Bunch of trees were trying to spawn where it was. <laughs> Imagine, okay. Imagine, if you will, a horror game that used quantum physics. I think that that could be very spooky. <laughs> okay. It seems like I need to be a specific distance. For it to move. Like, what's the condition that's holding the spout back from moving. Oh, you know what? I think it's the water going through it. As long as there's water going through it, it doesn't move. I need to go in the middle of the lake. That's what I want. See, now there, it shouldn't move. Yeah. Yeah. Weeping angel trees? Pretty much. <gasps> Wait, did they ever explain or attempt to explain the weeping angels scientifically? Because I guess that that could be a solution. Also, how are you doing, dear? <laughs> okay, it's playing the music saying, yo, you're getting close, but I'm not. Oh, oh, oh! Activate the camera. Okay, it shouldn't move now. I need to align everything. What does the riddle say? Where's the riddle? Where's the riddle? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I, I have to say, I... No, that's... No, no, no. I have to say, I... I feel like I might have overeaten. I'm feeling kind of slow. Other than that, I'm feeling great. Uh, okay. Riddle. Okay, we have it in the middle of the... Across old bark, it's always dark. In the glade, the quiet shade. In the... In the ancient glade, it's always dark. The quiet shade across old bark. Or, it's always dark... No, the quiet shade, it's always dark. No, that wouldn't work. Or across old bark, it's always dark. The oh, what's going on? Oh, oh. Alright. We literally... Spent the entire thing trying to figure that one out. I know, look behind you. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't 
didn't know that. Didn't know that. That explains everything. Here's my guess. Here's my, my guess about the quantum moon. Okay, let's figure out... This time I'm just gonna die. I'm gonna die here. I wanna see how long it takes for the loop to end. This is something that needs to be discovered. How long does it take for a loop to end? But it's always the same. If we find this out, I can go out right before the sun blows up because it went dark. Which means I can go into the quantum moon and it'll take me somewhere. Possibly the sixth place. Which is, in case you weren't here for that, the quantum moon appears around every planet. There are five planets. But it sometimes goes to somewhere random. Random, not actually random. A sixth place was theorized. But you can only travel with quantum things as long as it's not being seen and light is not hitting it. So the only situation where I can possibly move with the moon is when it's com in complete darkness, which only happens when the sun blows up. Okay. I thought maybe it would have been 15 minutes for the universe to blow up. What if this just keeps going? What if I save the world by sleeping? What if by sleeping... This guy keeps the world alive. That's my... My new theory. Really? 20 minutes. Let's see what the state of the sun is. 20 minutes later. Are you serious? No! Now we know, I'm gonna sleep for 19 minutes, and I'm not gonna fall off the thing. Well, we were able to figure out that 20 minutes is the limit. We were able to figure out 20 minutes is the limit. I love <laughs> that was most <laughs> that was mostly just a black screen. <laughs> okay. No, we <sighs> go sleep. All right. So how's everyone do? <laughs> I love those emotes. <laughs> I know that Nopers is being used a lot. I really like it. I've never seen the petting one being used, but I love it. <laughs> it's so good. It just makes me happy. It clearly it makes Peepo happy too. Oh, oh, birds. The bears and the bees. Why did I say that like I'm Snoop Dogg? The bears and the bees. I'm, I can't talk like Snoop Dogg. Yeah, since we're waiting here for a little bit, what's everyone thinking about this game? Or what did you think the solution was for that quantum tree puzzle? What am I drinking? I am not sponsored by Coke. It's Cherry Coke. It's Cherry Coke and I'm drinking by the sound of the crackling fire. Mm. 
You know, that's actually a good idea to burn the forest down. Because if there's no forest, <laughs> there's no one to die from a supernova. And I just realized this game has no birds. They're literally... Okay, I'm gonna give me a couple minutes. Ooh, look at that sun. It looks beautiful. About to blow up. Mm. Okay, I, I gotta move quickly though. I need to find the quantum moon. Come on. Oh, 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 quantum moon! You're right, you're right here! <laughs> Okay, 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 I hate the autopilot. <laughs> okay. Okay. Come on, son. Come on, son. Yes. Yes. Play the music. Play the music. I'm doing something right. I feel it. Son, I feel like I've been here for two minutes. It's hard to maintain speed. Perfect parody with the moon. Come on. I have a split second to do this. Son, when are you gonna blow up? Come on. Come on. Is it happening? Is it happening? in two minutes oh, oh 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 here it goes if that's what I'm supposed to be doing, by the way. That seems right, because that's when it gets really dark. Also, I have so much left over time. Um, but yeah, that's what seems right. Is it right? I don't know, idea. I don't know, idea. That's my theory. And I won't say game theory again, because... Much like this game, I have said it many times. Wait, I guess I should say, much like the loop of this game. What am 
I doing? I need to read. Do I have anything new? What did I not get anything? No. Okay. Um, wait. Okay. keeps telling me that there's more to see. Okay, so this is my current theory. This is the theory I'm working with for the game in general, not just how to get into the moon. Oh, by the way, the moon is there, which is very convenient for what I'm gonna try to do. I found the ship. I found the ship in the Bramble. I found, like, the mothership of the Nomai in the Bramble. So... So, what that means for me... Is... I can... Uh-oh, here we go again. That can do a jump. That can do a whatever jump. I forget what it's called. But it can do a whatever jump. So... Chip, why do you make this hard? And I have the coordinates. Those are two things I know. I have the coordinates for it. And... But the problem, the current problem I'm facing is that I need a way to power the ship, the ship that's lost in the bramble, the ship that I know works if I have a power source for it. So that's my current issue. Yeah, let's call the shuttle home. Okay. Cool. Signal scope, quantum fluctuation. Okay, cave shards right there. Need some. Where is the quantum moon? Museum shard, tower shard. Island shard. It's playing the music of, you're doing it right, kid. <laughs> Museum shard. Quantum moon. So far away, okay. What's that? Okay, that's the twin planet. Tower shard. Museum shard. Quantum moon, super far away. Okay, yeah. Shard. Museum shard. What's the other shard? Okay. So my working theory is... I need to find a way to power the ship. How I'm going to do this, that's the interesting part. I don't know. That's why I'm looking into all these quantum stuffs. Because I look into all the power stuff. What in the world's... What just happened to the ship? What just caused this ship to move? It wasn't me. Sure, I was playing with this thing, but...
so my guess is this ship hurl it at the moon but also what in the world caused it to move just there like why did the this ship move i don't think it's supposed to move why did it move um i know that the left one will hurl me forward at whatever is ahead of me just needed to be the quantum where is it another happy landing <laughs> yep uh i watched that video not too long ago little youtube poops I don't make videos like those anymore. Oh, my spleen. Um, I'm terrible at figuring out which way. Oh, okay. Super far away. Quantum moon, I need you to come to this planet. What if, what if I use the sun to slingshot myself through when it when it's becoming a supernova, and then I go super far. What if that's the solution? Tower shot? Okay. What I need. Spin. Essentially what I have to do is just keep spinning until it pops up close. Now, is it, <laughs> will that be super disorienting? Possibly. However... Like, I see no solution for this. I just realized something. That it, really stupid of me not to think about. If I called the ship here, what happened to the place where the ship was? <laughs> Ground control. Yeah, the music agrees. The music is like, yes, you made a conclusion that you should have made a long time ago. Okay, okay, I need to find the, the asteroid. Where is it? Fisher. Okay. Let's go. No, you stupid thing. I don't want that. I want the asteroid. There we go. Alright. I'll do it manually. really feels like it's going at the white hole. But then it's not. Okay, I wanted to test something. And I've got whispering. Okay, here we go. I guess I'll repair my chip. That it? Am I good? What we 
find. Oh. Got it. Got it. Yep. I think some of these guys died here. I thought the ship was here. I thought I remembered the ship being here. So, like... If there was going to be a fissure... Uh-oh. it would have been here. Clearly, it is not. So I guess that theory kind of sucked and didn't really matter. But I guess I need to find a fissure here. Which I was looking for previously. See little cracks here. That's definitely not it. Mm. Two of the Nomai located a fissure in the ice on the interloper's sunward side. They descended in. So sunward side, okay, we are on the sunward side, a fissure, is this technically the fissure? <gasps> it is. This feels like, oh no 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 no. my ship going away? Well... Cave number B. Let's see cave number A. Okay, cave number A is gonna kill me. Cave number B... By the way, I know. Cave number B... <laughs> cave number D... Okay. Wait, wait, cave number D has a... It splits. Okay, so cave number B seems to be the one. Hi, I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's center. And I'm starting to think they're more dangerous than we realized. Where is C? This is C. This is C. <laughs> Clary? Can you hear us? This sounds like a line out of Silent Hills 2. Silent Hill 2. Silent Hills. Rip. Um, yes. But your voice are, voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. 
will return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but... Hey gosh. Both? Thanks, William Shatner. Alright, so we're gonna... My guess is we're going down this one. Here we go. Gotta be careful. Okay. You gotta be kidding, there's clearly something in the middle. Shuttle. I mean, Scout. This is the safe route. Okay, okay, I see. So it's right, then left. Right, then left. Okay, here we go. Here we go, right, then left. That's all I know. to the hole. All right. Good to know. I'm going to do this one. All right. So, here. I'm going to do one from my perspective. Identify? Okay. Yes. Okay. The bottom. We'll keep going this way. Oh, okay. Okay. Dude died there. That's all right. Okay, seems safe. Just a bunch of dead people. Hello. Hello, Detroit. The spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No, rather the source is what is within the stone. I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. The stone is muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. Pi, I don't think we want this matter in interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing, but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Pi, whatever the matter inside this stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable, it's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compacted before. What is this? Wait. 
it, this is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously, and the pressure still building as the comet approaches the star system. Return to the shuttle right now. Oh, I have mixed the voices. Return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? Oh. The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can. Go warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Now, Poke. Okay. Okay. Can I move away from this, please? Okay. Um, actually, it seems fine. Oh, the casing ruptured. Wait a minute. They were talking about this before it opened. This is it open. So they were here when it happened. Interesting. Very interesting. I can do this? <laughs> okay. Um, interesting. So it ruptured. And this is what happened. Okay. 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 I need to find a way out of here. Okay. All right. Really? Okay. Hopefully I can find my way back. Not going through that hole. Going through this hole. Okay, so they were here when this exploded, and this might have been the chain reaction that killed all of them, eventually. That makes sense. I like how it sounds like I'm skiing. so bad. We discovered a lot of things. So the ghost matter originated from the interloper. Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Really? What was the only thing we learned? They were never able to warn any of them. Man, the gravity cut cannon is everywhere. Okay, so... I have a theory. Also this.
This is why I need. Ocean depth. That's true, the elixir. What did I find down here? Oh yeah, I found this. Should probably write this down. So, I need to find now. I think I'm gonna go with. In the water planet, the, the storming planet. Thank you. Thank you. Um, in the stormy planet, there was this one. Island that I didn't explore because I had ghost matter and back then I didn't know I could explore it with my scope with my little my little dude So I didn't But now that I know so essentially right now, I'm, I'm just like Trying to tie all the loose threads because that's what I know I can do Because I also don't know exactly what to do other than that right now because again, I, I have what I think is the end game in mind. But I don't have anything else. I have no way of getting to the end game. So I'm just trying to tie all the loose threads. Also, it's time for us to switch games, but I just want to do this last voyage. Bye, Scout. I need to find the island. Ah! I got hit by an island! <laughs> um... Yes, it's the island I was looking for. Look at that. That was fun. Alright. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Let me back in. I'm okay. All right. All right. See, I didn't I could do this. Too heavy. Am I gonna get up there? Stupid high gravity planets. <laughs> Stupid gravity marker on my thing saying there's no gravity here. Come on. You're better than that. There we go. Alright. Here we go, here we go. There we go. Okay. Good to know. Okay. 
What in the world? I think I just found a game breaking bug. Okay. This is the solution. Yep. Perfect. Here. Okay, great. I'm safe. Hope. Yeah, okay. So. Trip four, entry, uh, whatever. Uh, uh, crashes two, boring crashes zero. <laughs> Remember, it's, it's, it's late when I get back. Ha <laughs> ha ha! I mean, ha ha, yeah, yeah. All the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, Giants Deep. You just got Feldsparred. That was one of my more dramatic feats, if I do say so myself. I can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Ah, can't wait! to tell Hornsville and Gosson about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Right, so, uh, one more off the list. Seems like all that's left is the big one now, the Dark Bramble. Here I come. Okay. Okay. Hello. Okay. Really? This was all? All I was missing. Oh, and then they're frozen. One of those guys. Okay. 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 I just hope a tornado doesn't pick me up. Kind of gives me the creeps. Goodbye. Wait. So the thing said there was more for me to discover down here. That's why I'm coming back down. It's funny how like all these legendary, now just speaking about the, my culture, the culture of my people in this game. Like there's all these legendary astronauts. I'm like this up and comer, but I've done so many of the things that they've done. Also, I wonder I wonder if jellyfish feel violated. Because like we're we're very we're you know kinda in the brains of the jellyfish at this point. Oh I can stand. I can stand in the jellyfish. Quickly. 
here we go. So it did say that there was more stuff for me to explore here in the In the pod, there it is. I did say there was more for me to find. Now what I will find? No clue. But. I mean, I've done this. Wonder what was left for me to explore here. Like I know in the Ash Twin, there's the thing that has like all the faces looking at you, and like it's at the center of the Ash Twin because like it was like the hardest material ever made. Whatever. Um. What's that? Hey, Bob. Welcome. How are you doing? How was your Monday? How was your weekend? I'm pretty sure I've read through this. Almost prepared. Or a pro cannon. Yeah, I feel like I've read this. I think, I think we it wasn't too bad. I'm glad. I'm glad. Hope it was a restful one. solve this mystery here because it's saying that I have more to find out down here imagine privet the pro tracking monitor will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye be the first to see them I'm honored I'm gonna ask the orbital pro count to use so much power it breaks will you yeah we've read this what am I missing tells me that I'm missing something, but what am I missing? Again, I've done this. I haven't stepped on the goop. I guess now I have. Uh. Uh. Stop! <laughs> Stop switching back and forth. This is really confusing. Alright, there we go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There is one thing I haven't tried. Throw it in the goop. Did it go into the goop? Nope. Aha! So I'll just reread these just to make sure I didn't. What in the world? Did it restart the simulation? Did a family Zoom chat on Saturday? I haven't done that in a while. Yeah, me too. I didn't do a Zoom. I, we just FaceTime, but. But yeah, I hadn't done it in a while. 930. Yeah, we saw this. 98. Visualizing current trajectory. Okay, yeah. There's the trajectory.
Yeah, this is the one that we just launched. Okay, we don't care about that one, though. So that was 098. This one is... I think it's all the trajectories. Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Total number 98. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the I passed by 91354. But they still launched a few of them, and this is something I mentioned last time when we were we were here. They launched a few after they found the eye, for some reason. I guess that there was just no way to retrieve it. And then these are the words. These are the words that I need. Retrieving store coordinates from Ash Twin. Explain coordinates for Eye of the Universe. Yeah. Now what do I do with this? Yeah, I feel like I did everything here. I don't know what I could possibly be missing. That's how that works. Yeah. I guess that's it. Yeah, ho I hope you had a good time. Talking to your fam. Sometimes it's good. I mean, it's, it is good. Sometimes it's... Hard catching up. Happened. I think the universe ended once I was here. Unless there's something on the outside that I should observe. There's a little, little nipple on this side. On the other side. Have another nipple. This bi nippled room. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Ready to go, jellyfish. Jellyfish. Jelly? A nipple. Yeah. Just a be-nippled room. Oh, oh, here we go. Here are our friends. Probably take this one. It seems to be lower. Here we go. Here we go. I'll be honest, by the way, I'm feeling kind of weird today. I'm probably going to end stream once I I finish this loop and I finish this game. I'm just kind of not feeling that great. I think I'm reaching my limit for the day. I'm going to give it a little rest. For the time being. Uh oh. The time? Okay, we're out.
all that effort to die. Well, <laughs> I'm going to take a last look at, at the theory map and then I'll end for the day. I hope you guys are enjoying this game. I, I really am. This is very entertaining. For me, at least. <laughs> uh, I don't know how entertaining it would be if, you know, you you already know all the solutions and you're watching me. I guess, like, I don't know. I don't know. Let's check it out. Bramble Island. Okay. You've enjoyed it? I'm glad. I'm glad. I am glad. That's the least I can hope for. Do you want everyone to be having a good time? And enjoying this game as much as I am. There's more to explore here. <sighs> wait, wait! I have it all wrong! I have it all wrong! I'm stupid! Remember the first night I was playing this game and I was like, Oh, I, I can't stop playing, and then I went out of the ship without my suit, and then I died? This is where I was at! It wasn't the one in the Ash Twin. Or the Ember Twin. It was this one, in the Brittle Hollow, and I never went back there. I never went back there. I feel like there's so much- when was that? Why is there an invisible thing? Why is there an invisible thing? I don't know. Does it have a moon? Oh man, I'm going crazy. Okay, ugh. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're going back to the first planet I explored to finish what I never started. There's a sixth planet. Erica, you spoiled it. Yeah, no, hopefully. Because, yeah, I'm getting close. I feel like I'm getting close. I've. Everything is pretty much connected now. Except for this. This is kind of far away, but everything else is connected. Now there's a few loose connections in this area relating to the quantum moon. So, I finished up these guys. Hoping... I really thought... I kept going to the Ember Twin one and saying, Oh, that's the one. That's the one I need to keep coming back to. Because I thought they were the same, but no, I completely forgot there was one in the Brittle Hollow. Erica! Bob? <laughs> anyway, ah, oh, I love this game. No, don't show settings. I'm gonna tell all my streaming secrets. But yeah. Friends. Foes. Frenemies. That is where I'll end today. Just because I'm not feeling that great. Not feeling too hot. Thank you. We actually got a lot done. We actually got a lot done. This was a shorter stream. But, yeah. A lot of very interesting things happening. Very spooky things. I got spooked a couple times today. So. Is the music playing? It is. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm just feeling kind of... Uh, feel, I feel a migraine coming in, so... Yeah. I went as far as I could, and I'm glad that you were able to enjoy it. So, I'm probably gonna rest it off. 
Thank you. Thank you. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I know I'll be back on Wednesday, but I hope to your Tuesday's great, your Wednesday's great, Thursday, Friday. Um, but I wish you all many happy days and live life to the most of it. Enjoy it. Because unlike our character here, we're all, why am I going to such a sad, depressing... <laughs> Alright, bye. <laughs>